Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome to my studio. I could feel spring vibes everywhere and it brings so much joy and so much fun. And today I offer you to paint together cherry blossom branch, which in a few days, maybe weeks in some regions, it will start to blossom everywhere. And it brings so much fun and beauty and joy to our hearts. And we will be prepared right today. So let's start. So cherry blossom branch, cherry blossom flowers. I mix Queen Acridon Rose with uh, some uh, yellowish and brownish colors right in my palette. Uh, to make this nice vintage feeling color and I imagine that my branch will grow like, like this, for example. So I just start to paint petals. Cherry Blossom has uh, five petals. And I add some very dark mixture in the middle randomly and combine it with lighter, with lighter pink. I paint with the tip of the brush, with the belly of the brush, very randomly. What I need to remember is to keep a lot of white space in the petals to make the petals vibrant, light. And another thing I need to remember is just to add some variety. I emphasize the middle like this. So you see one one bud is ready. So next one, I again, I take my just dark brown, brownish mixture. I, let's repeat this. You make the uh, center of the flower just with some dots. And then you go for our diluted pink mixture and paint petals and leave a lot of white. Just try to make the shape nice. Sometimes I drag out the color. Sometimes I leave it more sharp, more contrast. For example, here I would like to emphasize a little bit the darkness. I add a little bit of color here in the middle and I drag out colors I drag out colors here to make it more tender and the next one again some dots to show the middle our pinky dusty pinky mixture this time I would like to paint flower a little bit on that direction, looking to the left. Sometimes I paint just with water on the tip of the brush, because it's enough of hues here. And here I could drag out some color from the middle. And now I want to really emphasize the middle again. I'm, I take one dark brown, it's the darkest brown, and add something in the middle and again right here in these colors, uh, in these buds. I like how it flows here. Now I want to connect um, our flowers and put them on a branch. So I take red oxid, uh, also sienna would be nice. 
so any earthy bright earthy tone I mix it a little bit with one dye with darker brown for the branch and I start to connect our flowers and set them on the branch and usually cherry blossom branch it's very curvy it has a lot of beautiful texture on it so don't forget about this never paint branches straight like this or like this the more curves you add the more artistic it will look like I think here could be also nice sometimes I go with the tip of the brush and sometimes I just put uh, the brush up lift the brush up uh, to make some space to make our painting airy nice I add some darker brown especially in the places where it's shady right under petals right under buds for some contrast you see for example here could be also a nice flower so what I am doing again I um, I think this time I want the flower look this direction a little bit bottom left so again our pinkish mixture oh that's too pinky but it's okay I will mix it with leftovers of brown here we will get it nice so first these front petals tip of the brush then belly of the brush and then connect and few petals which looks from from the middle and I clean the brush and just drag out the color to remove these uh, brightness and contrast this unnecessary contrast like this some dark spots in the middle and of course we need to paint branch a little bit here otherwise it looks a bit weird and what else would be nice to do for example to make this composition more beautiful to add some uh, closed buds that's easy pink the tip of your brush belly of your brush similar as you would paint leaves for example one bud tip of the brush belly of the brush add some space some whites and connect it with the brush so a few buds are here and I think would be also nice to add few little tiny buds in this direction and here it's a bit too thick this this branch is a bit too thick so we could add really nice something here at the edges tip of the brush belly of the brush tip of the brush belly of the brush if you feel that it is too bright just clean the brush and drag out the color to make it softer nice um, add some shades add some color so it's about like this and um, let's add some leaves uh, to make leaves also uh, vintage looking I'm taking sub green which is very bright 
but I mix it with Bondi. So it looks mm, brownish, greenish, yellowish something. And I want to add a few, just a few leaves, even more diluted. this. We do not make a lot of accent on the leaves. Tip of the brush, belly of the brush and let it go. Example, not just here, tip of the brush, belly of the brush, let it go and maybe here just a bit. So our cherry blossom branch is ready and I hope it brings you to a spring mood. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a nice time and I hope you have all these spring vibes with you. I am very curious to see your paintings on Instagram, tag me olga.kölsch. Also, leave some feedback in comments which flowers you would like to paint next. Subscribe my channel and see you next time. Bye-bye!